You're too slow, Iron Witch. Betty! I'm already warmed up. Introducing the new tactical mech, upgraded for CoreLogic OS. Witch Hunter Alpha. Come on, demonstrate your might to our guests. Commence offensive maneuvers at 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. What? It seems similar to that mech Grace was debugging. Oh, what's wrong, Grace? Hard to believe the personality OS you were so proud of has been replicated by someone like me. A cheaper, more productive, and easier to deploy modular personality OS! The maintenance costs are half what you pay. There are none of the whole stability or personality disorder risks you fretted about. Didn't the market applaud your tech patents? They'd always say only someone who loves tech as much as Grace could achieve this. <laughs> the cold and withdrawn Iron Witch, a weirdo who treats machines like people. This black magic you've been researching for so long, cracked just like that by me. Ooh. Task complete. I suggest switching to auto defense mode. Is that okay, Master? Go ahead. Its intelligence system is crude, but I like its gumption. Approximately one millionth as professional as me. All right, Barry. Don't add fuel to the fire. Wise. Is Grace okay? <sighs> Grace, are you okay? That voice is so lovely! I can't believe she just caved like that. Well, no, of course she would. It responded to the voice command and executed the instructions without any redundant movements, and the steering mechanism's brake nozzle is gorgeous. It only listed one default command when recommending actions, and still so immature, I love it! <laughs> Enjoying it? Why are you admiring your rival's work? Mmm, this kid looks really good. Don't praise your rival. At least now's not the right time. Uh, yes. I don't like it yet. You claim to have replicated Bellabog Industries' patent, but I won't buy it just like that. I'll believe it when I see this kid show us a little more. Show it to me. Right here, right now. Best if you let me pick it apart myself so I can see better. You know, the more you say, the sketchier you get. Why would I let my rival disassemble my work? But, well, you do have a point. I'll have Witch Hunter Alpha accompany you to demonstrate the difference in technological achievements. I've uploaded the coordinates of Three Gates' meeting place to Witch Hunter Alpha's memory. Enjoy its company and appreciate its skills along the way. Really? Thanks! Uh, but this doesn't mean I can seat. Wise, I'm starting to worry Grace is gonna switch sides. <sighs> We're here. Good timing. The Three Gates reps and public security will arrive shortly. How about it, Grace? Willing to admit defeat? <sighs> I'm willing to admit this kid is indeed a superior mech. With strong firepower, good mobility, and responsive controls. A weapon well suited for mass production. When I first encountered it a few days back, it didn't have the personality OS installed. I never expected our patent to be reverse-engineered to such an extent, in such little time. Mm, uh, I finally got to see the day that Grace admits defeat! Ho -ho! Not just yet. I have a question to ask you first. Ask away. It's not a question for you. It's for the kid. What?
Witch Hunter Alpha. How high should the driver's seat be set? What if you were to suggest a seat height? What would it be? Nothing over 140 centimeters. <sighs> Seat height? What kind of question is that? Betty, shut down Witch Hunter Alpha right now, or uninstall the personality OS. We need to take it out of the hollow ASAP. <laughs> what nonsense. I have no idea how you've gotten your hands on it, but I'm certain your personality OS is plagiarized from the data frame I've deployed in our prototype. Oh. Hey, 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 no need for such ugly accusations. Resorting to this all because you can't admit failure? Just because you asked a useless question, you're now accusing me of plagiarism? 140 centimeters. That was Coleta's height back then. Huh? The former president of Bellabog Industries, Coleta's father and my mentor, Horse, when he finalized his prototype, he calibrated a specific seat height so that his daughter could pilot it from the get-go. That height was directly embedded into the logic core. <laughs> On the way here, I realized Witch Hunter Alpha's thinking patterns were similar to those of our kids. I was suspicious if you used the same data framework. The answer to this question has finally convinced me. Only our prototype, a Bellabog Industries mech, could know this by default. Because my sweepy gets mad if the seat is set too high. How... You and your venomous slander! That's just a coincidence! You know deep in your heart it's not. Listen to me, buddy. The logic core data from the prototype hasn't had comprehensive troubleshooting yet. There's still lots of corrupted data that needs stripping away. Using a copied framework means it's also contaminated with corrupted data. And we've already been inside the hollow for over two hours. This kid is at risk of losing control at any second. Why would... No way. You're lying. I won't be tricked. Really? Still not giving up? Fine. Here's another task for Witch Hunter Alpha, then. Translate this. Red, green, red, red, green. R red, green... Now what are you up to? Bosh, bucket, bosh, bosh, bucket. Huh? How, how are you speaking in unison? Because this is the cognitive command code I installed when I debugged my kid. Wake up, Betty. Turn off Witch Hunter Alpha right now. So Betty stole the data while we were troubleshooting. Warning, hostile behavior detected. Initiating self-defense mode. <laughs> I know you're just bluffing. Go, Witch Hunter Alpha. Get rid of this trickster witch. Oh, huh? Betty, watch out! <laughs> Hostile targets locked. Commencing pursuit. Proxy, let's go after it! Warning. Fire control system and onboard weapons have been damaged. Entering attack mode. The target's hull has been damaged. Aether activity is steadily increasing. That's no good. We're not doing enough damage to stop it. Oh, oh gosh, how could this happen? Betty, what now? Any contingency strategies? You're asking me? Of course I'm asking you. You're that child's mechanic. Uh, uh... You know it inside and out. Think about how to solve this problem. The logic core is already corrupted. I... I can't command it. Pull yourself together. Now's not the time to be pessimistic. Oh no, 
those mech attacks keep getting stronger and stronger. Are there any software vulnerabilities we can exploit? Any hardware damage? Contingency protocols? Module defects? Think! Quick! Run. What's that? Run! Just run! I, I admit it. I plagiarized your data framework. I just build a simulation layer over the top of the base structure. I... I don't know how to deal with this situation! Let's run! Our weapons aren't enough to deal with it, and it will only get more dangerous as it corrupts! So, what about your mission, then? What about the Three Gates reps? I'll, I'll explain things to them and let this crazy piece of metal fend for itself. And we can still call up the HIA to come take care of it. What kind of joke is that? Ah! I didn't expect that. That's the first time I've ever heard Grace roar. Why can't we run away? Anyone with common sense would do the same. We're facing an experimental weapon that's out of control, and our only control tool is broken. That's it. Let's leave things up to public security or the HIA. It's totally reasonable. I know what you're thinking. You just won't give up on that mech. You want to save it like it's a person, but this obsession with machinery is fanaticism. Why are you making me stay with you? Enough with all your nonsense! Leaving problems behind for someone else to handle. You're just shirking your obligations! You're that child's mechanic! It's your responsibility to deal with it! Run away? Have you thought about how many other people would be risking their lives because you neglected your duty? I... I, I don't know what to do! <sighs> Hand over the control panel. Huh? What are you gonna do? Take back control. Take back control of the logic core while it's being corrupted by ether? How? You said that you only built an emulated control layer, right? If the central control system and mech command are carried through the emulated control layer instead of direct authorization from the logic core, then there's still a chance. But that'll be almost impossible unless some magic happens. Frosty Cold Iron Witch. Uh, huh? Isn't that the name you've been mocking me with? If you need some magic, don't you need a witch on your side? Its main control system's damaged! Now's the time! Betty, give me the control panel! What? Here. Cut autonomous order percentage. Switch permissions to G44. Cease fire control radar module. Change power distribution to manual. Restart energy pump. Ah, uh, too slow! Uh, its logic core is out of control. We won't make it! Is the soft reboot button in the middle of its frame? Yeah. Wait, you want to try a manual reboot? Uh, are you out of your mind? Disable weapons. I... it's done. What a good kid. Welcome back. Yikes! I never expected those PubSec agents to come so fast. 
I didn't get a chance to appreciate that kid's insulation coat as much as I would have liked. What a texture, despite all the battle damage. Incredible, Grace. Truly amazing. Turns out, Grace isn't really a freak. She only acts like one because she's a consummate professional dedicated to her field. Hey, that was rude. Do you think it's easy being a corporate technician like me? Especially considering how young I am. As an apology, I'll let you give me this cute little thing to pet. I mean, research for a few days. You do deserve a reward. Hmm. How about it, Eos? Would you make the sacrifice? <laughs> Betty! <sighs> Betty Brenda! If you want to laugh at me, be my guest. I've got nothing to say. Great job constructing that emulated control layer. Huh? The voice print conversion command was so good I almost got fooled. <sighs> Even though the incomplete data framework caused lots of operational errors and low efficiency, there's still lots of room for improvement. If you're interested in personality OS research, I can give you some sample data from our prototype. Of course, you'll have to wait until your suspension is over and you've regained your mechanics license. <sighs> I lost completely thoroughly. <sighs> Good luck with your technical collaboration, Grace Howard. You're still willing to give her sample data. Have you heard of horsepower as a unit of measurement? It indicates how many horses would be required for an equivalent output of force. Industrial machinery usually has a horsepower of several hundred or several thousand. Don't you think this is a real boon for horses? Because these machines end up saving hundreds of them from the pain of manual labor. People are just the same. An industrial machine can save dozens of engineer teams from hollow related danger and a tactical mech can save several combat squads from having to face ethereals. And me? Actually, I can't say that I simply love machinery. All I'm infatuated with is the prospect of saving humans from getting ruined inside the hollows and sparing their families all the suffering and grief. I may have destroyed many times the machines that my peers, indirectly or otherwise, have. So that's really why I'm a witch, you know? Even if it makes me cry out in sorrow, I still have to send these kids out there to face fatal threats. But if there were more witches like me in New Eridu's future, just a few more people willing to care for these machines and shed tears for their sacrifices, well, maybe these kids would be more willing. Emmy, the new transfer student's gonna be sitting next to you, right? Hey, she looks pretty cool, don't you think? Cool? I don't see it. Look! She's helping Molly clean the blackboard. She's so nice! And so tall! She's even taller than my neighbor! And my neighbor's already 11! <laughs> tall! I'm tall! <laughs> so why is she in elementary school? You know what I think? I think she didn't go into middle school, cuz... She's an idiot! You damn brats! Just you wait! Good morning, my dear human children! It's snack time! We've got pineapple buns today! Thank you, Miss Grace! Who the hell is that? Right, right, uh, there's something else I need to tell you all! We are having a field trip soon! We're going to Lumina Square, kids, and we're even doing a choir! So, are you all excited?
you and Grace infiltrated the school to investigate a hollow. I thought this was some sort of prank show. I never understood the point of those shows. Of course it's for official business. Okay, starting from the top. Hey! Don't look bored already! I'll make it short. Bellabug took a job to renovate that elementary school, the one you saw in the video. When construction was finished, I went to check the site and found that there was a new companion hollow nearby. The hollow is located in the abandoned parking lot just outside the construction area. It appeared recently, and if it's not contained, it might expand to the school. We've been talking with the school's principal. I told him it's best to report the hollow to the city administration so they could deal with it. And you're coming to us because the city can't deal with it, aren't you? Hmm, it hasn't gotten that bad yet. From what I've seen of its size, if the association sent someone, they should be able to deal with it. But that's what's weird. The principal didn't report the hollow and didn't apply for hollow compensation either. He paid the rest of our fee the very next day. I've never seen a single client who doesn't drag their feet when it comes to payments. It's almost like he wants Bellabog off his tail. Well, if we're going by normal industry practices, we'd have no reason to dig into this. After construction has been fully completed and inspections have been passed, Bellabog holds no responsibility for any future impact caused by hollows. Even if the hollow really did end up affecting the school, this clause can protect Bellabog from all consequences and responsibilities. However, if that really ends up happening, the students and the teachers of that school may find themselves in danger. I see now. You aren't the type to stand by and let this happen. That's right, Wise. You hit the nail on the head, as expected. For uh, certain reasons, Grace and I had to infiltrate the school in disguise to get access to the only entrance to the Hollow. Anton helped us find some connections, and I left the daily operations to Ben. Uh, my responsibilities I've just been handling at night. Anyway, we finally found the opportunity we needed during the field trip to Lumina Square in a few days. All the students and teachers will leave the school and head to the square. Even if the hollow gets out of control, we can make sure as few people as possible are at risk. So, that's the situation. Bell, Weiss, I assume you're gonna take the commission? You're here! How's Eos doing? Is your sister taking good care of that little cutie? I got my hands on some amazing lubricant from the outer ring. If you put some into the Bangu's base, it can drip out of the eyes! How about Eos give it a go? Hey, aren't you a teacher right now? Did you leave your character along with that dress at home? Oh my, I almost forgot! So, little Kaleida, how about you call me Teach? and help me get back into character. <sighs> Miss Grace, there's three students hiding because they had a fight. If we don't find them, we can't do the choir. Well, that just won't do. Unfortunately, Miss Grace still has some stuff to take care of, all right? So can Kaleda go and find them with this pro, uh, with this young man? If you manage to find them, then? As a reward, Ms. Grace will give you the hammer she forged at a university internship. Wh what Shouldn't you give out a, a star sticker or snacks or something? I want a star sticker, Miss Grace. So long as you find those three kids and convince them to come back to join the choir, you can have whatever you want. The only entrance to the hollow is in the abandoned parking lot near the school. We've already confirmed that the keys to the parking lot are with the principal. Usually, we wouldn't get a chance to get near him. But today, 
the principal will come to see the choir. While his attention is on the performance, we can figure out a way to steal his keys. So the only way to obtain the keys is to ensure the choir goes ahead with no issues. That's why we need to deal with those three little ones who had an argument. Can I leave this to you? I suppose we have to. I'll wait for the good news then. Little Coleta. Ms. Grace is appointing you as the leader of your little team. Who the hell wants to be the leader of a team with just one member?
understand, Lisa? I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Your fault? It's not like you need stupid friends like us. Once you're at that rich kid's school, you can probably get better friends. Come on now. If you're afraid of Emmy getting taken away by new friends, you should transfer with her. It's not that simple. Wait, no! Then we'll be leaving you all alone. I don't want that. That wouldn't be okay? It, it's not okay. Hey, calm down. Lisha was just joking. Even if I transfer, we'll still be BFFs. Just like the fish in the boat. Even though the boat went to the water park, it was still the fish's best friend, right? Wait, didn't you say you thought those lyrics were stupid? Uh, they are. Uh. But not as stupid as me. I was so stupid that I didn't tell you about something as important as transferring schools, because I was so scared I'd make you too mad. Hemi, you aren't stupid. You're the coolest kid I know. I love being your friend. Hmm. Well, even though the new transfer student, Coleta, is pretty cool, I like Dan and Emmy the most. Ugh, don't bring up that imposter. Ooh, is Emmy jealous? Uh, uh, hey. Um, Miss Grace says we need to get to the choir. Uh-oh. It looks like she heard you. Mm, nope. I didn't hear anything. I wouldn't care even if I did. I have more important things to worry about than my popularity among some little kid. Oh, fudge. The principal. I I'm gonna hide for now, Proxy. Could you head over to the choir and check on things in a bit? Thanks to you all, the choir is back to business. Now for the key. The principal sure is immersed in the singing. I just checked. He put his keys in his pocket. Now we just need to carefully approach him. Give me a signal for when I should strike. Ah, not bad. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm, beautiful singing, yes. Wait just a little longer. All right, I'll wait for your signal. Good, very good. Mm, everyone is in sync. Now. Ah, I got it! Oh, wait, no! Drat, it slipped out of my grasp. Ugh, why didn't Anton let me bring that magnetic arm? What's with these lyrics? Okay, now. All right, got it. Hmm? Huh? Miss Grace? Why are you so close? You weren't this outgoing during the interview. Uh, I... well... Mr. Principal. Oh, Emmy! Good job just now. Thank you. Um, you know your clothes are dirty? They're covered in dust. I think Miss Grace just wanted to help you dust them off. Hmm? Dust? Oh, this dust. I, um, accidentally got it on me. Uh, yes, it's it's chalk. I accidentally got chalk on me. As a principal, it's normal for there to be chalk on my clothes. It would be stranger if there wasn't any chalk. Um, uh, on the other hand, Miss Grace, your outfit is strange. As a teacher and, and a model to your students, what do you have to say for yourself? Oops, <laughs> sorry. Guess I won't wear it again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Although your outfit lacks sophistication, as a new teacher, this field trip of yours was quite a success. We must view these things in separation. Nothing is just black or white. Most of us are shades of gray. All right, I have other things to do now. Miss Grace, I shall leave the children to you. Please bring them back to school safely. This guy's like a broken water pump with all the meaningless noise he makes. Wise, I've given the key to Kaleida. She's headed off to get Anton and Ben for the next part of the plan. You should head back and prepare. She'll be in contact soon. <laughs> 